Hello and welcome to Take Time, I'm your host, Patrick Marlette. Today we're taking a look at not one, but two blasts from the past. Both iconic accessories of divers in the 60s and 70s. Both molded from superior rubber formulas. Both made in Italy and both couldn't look further apart in design. Yet they are true classics for dive watch aficionados. This is the Isofrane in Tropic Rubber Strap. Disclaimer, these straps were gifted to the channel. Now, as I like to do with all of my reviews, let's start with some bad notes first. You won't very often hear me complain about this particular topic, and that's because I don't often have high-end rubber straps on the channel. Packaging. There's no real ceremony to the unboxing you'll have when opening either of these straps. They both come in a cheap, hard plastic case with all of the relevant brand and marketing techs you need to push these off the shelf on them. It's honestly not what you'd expect from an accessory in the $80 to $150 category. So don't get disappointed when you order yours and it doesn't match the experience of other premium brands. On that last note, in regards to purchasing, the whole process is a huge hassle if done through the web browsers of either brand's website. Both are members of the Synchron Group and both share awful web browser experiences. Isoframe's website may well be one of the worst I have experienced in terms of layout and accessibility. Tropicstrap.com's browser is a step up, but all ordering is done through Synchron's webpage, the shop.aquadive. Com webpage. To find basic information on either item, you will find yourself digging through various drop menus and pages. This frustrating experience can steer your interest away from an otherwise amazing strap. Both brand web pages have to be revised to not only one, allow you to purchase the strap directly from them, but two, provide all relevant information to the potential buyer within one or two clicks from the homepage. Both straps are extremely durable and dust resistant, the Tropic hypoallergenic, with the Isoprene being non-allergenic. Each exemplars of Isoprene and vulcanized rubber manufacturing. They're both extremely supple and pair perfectly with your wrist right out of the plastic. Though both brands have other models within their respective catalogs, particularly Tropic with its wide array of styles, their two flagship models are represented with the designs you see here. The Tropic, with its tapestry or basket-woven appearance, may well be one of the most iconic straps ever made. Its design has been parodied by various other brands, some even featured here, but this is the originator. When watch collectors think Tropic, this is the model that comes to mind. Though the tapestry Tropic of the past had also been made with curved ends, were treated only to a straight cut here. The buckle itself has evolved with time from the previous model. Its curvature makes the fit perfect, though purist may well prefer the previous buckle style. With its multitude of perforations, this strap will dry quicker and breathe better than most all options, isofrain excluded. The second benefit here is that it can be sized for pretty much any wrist. Isofrain's design on the professional dive strap takes a far different approach. Where the Tropic was intended as an aftermarket replacement for your watch's bracelet, Isofrain feels as though it was intended for your watch from the very beginning. No matter what design you put it on, it looks right at home. Despite its deceptively thick scale, Isofrain's superiorly breathable design and slinky nature make you forget you have anything strapped to your wrist at all. Instead of spring bars maintaining the buckle, we have one of three buckle variations featuring a screw-in bar to secure the buckle in place. This particular buckle mimics the original, but it's far more generous with the amount of steel used in its construction. Now before I get to my verdict, let's take a look at the Isofrane and Tropic rubber strap on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist. These have easily been the best rubber straps I've featured on this channel. Though I have no professional application for them, the Isofrain strap is likely to be my go-to dive strap from here on out. However, both wear equally well, featuring contrasting characters such that they would both warrant a place in your arsenal of dive accessories. If you want the best, from the original brands no less, 
There's no other option but Isofrain or Tropic. I'm looking forward to see how they expand upon their range of options moving forward. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.